Susie here. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Hope everybody's doing well out there. We are doing a throwback kind of video today. I have not done a fragrance review here on my channel in a while, mainly because I honestly just not have gotten any new fragrances. I just don't have the budget right now to spend on makeup and fragrances. And if I have to pick and choose, a lot of times makeup wins out. But if I was gonna be completely honest with you guys, my fragrance collection has been super stale lately. I just don't have anything that I'm really that interested in. I have a lot of my favorite fragrances, my signature scents, things that I like to wear, and you know, fragrances that I did reviews on back in the day. But I just haven't gotten anything new, and frankly, I just don't have the money to go out and buy these large bottles. And for me, a fragrance subscription seemed like a really fun thing to do. I've gotten makeup subscriptions before, and I really enjoy those, but the fragrance subscription seemed really fun and a, like a good way for me to be able to try out some new scents. Scentbird is $16.95 a month for a 30-day supply of a fragrance of your choice. Each month it does come with a card with the fragrance that you chose on it as well as a brief description and the notes in the fragrance. The first time you order you will get a magnetic case which comes with your fragrance perfect for traveling and then inside you will find the fragrance that you chose that month so you simply switch out in the travel case each month and you can buy more cases on their website if you so choose. This is perfect for traveling or just trying out new fragrances. It's a perfect option. If you're someone that's watching your budget, but you do like fragrances, you wanna try out something new, and you just kinda of want a little something, a little treat every month in the mail, Scentbird is a really good option. So this month I did pick out uh, my fragrance and I actually have fragrances pick, picked out for the next few months. So with Scentbird, you do get to pick out your own fragrances. If you don't pick one out for that month, they will send you one they think you're interested in based on your previous likes and your scent profile, which is a quiz that you fill out. But I did pick out my fragrance for this month and I decided to go with Versace Dylan Blue Pour Femme. My husband does have the Versace Dylan Blue Pour Home and he really enjoys it. He thinks it's a really good summertime warm weather fragrance, but I did smell the Pour Femme in a magazine one time, like a little uh, scent, you know, advertisement, and I really like the scent of it and I wanted to try it out on myself. So I decided to get it in my scent bird this month. So this is how your scent bird comes in. It does come in a little baggie. Now, will I keep it in this little baggie? Probably not. Um, it also does come with the little case. So this is a magnetic case, which is kind of nice. Um, it just literally comes right apart like that. And then you have your fragrance inside of there. And the fragrance inside, the size of it is a 0 0.25 fluid ounce or 8 ml bottle. So that is a very good size. Um, this is about the same size that you'd get in like a roller ball of a fragrance or like a travel set or something like that. So it is very much um, a good size for traveling. And this is a nice little case because it does have a locking feature. So you can just click the little top here. This is the sprayer. And if you want it locked, you can click it like that. If you want to open it up and be able to spray it, you can just put it in the middle there and you can get more cases if you want. You can also pay an additional fee and get a new case every month with your fragrance. But I am okay with this one. I did order another one because I wasn't sure if it came with one, but it does. Every month it does come with a little card which does tell you about the fragrance. That is a picture of the fragrance there on the front and there's always a little description on the back. It is a refreshing black currant sorbet with granny smith apple and a contemporary floral bouquet. Woody base notes uh, playfully mixed together to create a unique, captivating, sensuous, and vibrant movement. And the notes in here are black currant, rose, and white woods. So 
Okay, let me just kind of back up to when I first sprayed this fragrance because if you do go on the Scentbird website or you're on there looking at the fragrances, one of the things you'll notice the most about this fragrance in particular is that a lot of people say it smells masculine. That when they spray it, it smells like a guy, it smells like cologne, it smells like something that they don't wanna wear. And you know, obviously, everyone is different. Everybody's going to have their own tastes. Me personally, I do not like masculine fragrances on myself. And this one, when you first spray it, it does come across as masculine. It does have a cologne smell. It felt, it does smell very similar to my husband's uh, Pour Home, uh, Eau de Parfum from the Dylan Blue. So it does smell the same. It has that same kind of tone, same kind of masculine, musky, slightly sweet smell um, with that rose in the background. However, the difference for the Pour Femme is that it does start to lighten up and I feel like the rose really starts to come out and it definitely smells more floral. It has a more sweeter floral scent than the Pour Homme. So it is going to turn into a more feminine fragrance. It's gonna be very lovely and very well-rounded, but it kind of comes out more towards your like, I'm gonna say after at least wearing it for an hour, you do start to kind of notice. It does have a more feminine note to it, more of that rosy floral kind of floral bouquet note that starts to come out. So when I first sprayed it, I was definitely also like, okay, this smells a bit masculine. In fact, I even went to my husband and I asked him, do you think this smells a little bit masculine? Do you think this smells like a guy? And he's like, um, no, not really. You know, he said, I think it just smells like a more you know, um, feminine version of the for him version. I really like it, but at first I can see where it would be a little bit like scary if you're someone that is not into masculine scents at all, you definitely might be a little bit freaked out. I don't think this is a scent for everyone. I think it definitely requires a certain occasion and I definitely think it requires a certain person. If you're someone that is really girly, you're into those really girly candy sweet kind of sense this probably isn't going to be the one for you it definitely leans a little bit musky but this is for someone who is probably in their upper 20s 30s and onward um, someone more mature can definitely wear this scent it would be very appropriate but I would say anyone probably 28 and under I would definitely not recommend this scent I think it is a little bit too complex and just a little bit too rich for someone like that. When I say rich, I mean it's just not that lightweight, youthful kind of fragrance that someone who is maybe under 28 or 29 would wanna wear. I think 30s and up, perfect age for this fragrance. I think it is very complex smelling for a designer scent and for that reason, that is why I say that. But also, um, is it appropriate for daytime? Sure, would you wear it to work? Sure, I wore it during the daytime. It was just fine. My husband liked it. He thought it smelled really good. I really liked it. I thought it smelled really good. Didn't give me a headache. Wasn't too strong for me. It was blazing outside that day. It was like in the 90s and this fragrance was projecting but it still smelled really good it wasn't overpowering or anything like that but when i smell this fragrance i definitely think more of like a nighttime occasion maybe like a date night dinner something a little bit more elegant it just doesn't smell like something that you would wear to like go to a friend's house go to a movie it's just not that kind of fragrance and it doesn't kind of Give me those vibes it kind of gives me more of like nighttime outing maybe you know if you're still going to the club go into the club um maybe like a lounge you know just kind of maybe a nighttime dinner that is very upscale something like that that is what i could see this fragrance working with but definitely not you know kind of a fun lighthearted activity i don't think this is that fragrance the one drawback to this fragrance for me personally would be that it just doesn't have a lot of lasting power. 
Um, I think I got about six hours worth of wear. In fact, at the six hour mark, I was like, okay, if I didn't apply more, I just wouldn't even barely smell it. Like it would be very, very, you know, close to the skin. You would have to really lean in and smell it, but it wasn't projecting anymore. And so six hours, that's about what you're going to get. Um, it's probably not even going to last you through a full day of work probably about, you know, six hour mark, you would need to reapply. At least that was for me on my skin. And that was on a really hot day. So surprisingly, that's about as long as I got out of it. Um, but still, do I like it? Do I think it is a good fragrance? Very much so. Um, it is a little bit more of a pricey, you know, designer fragrance. So this is a really great way to be able to try it out and, you know, wear it without having to spend that designer price tag. So overall, I gave Dylan Blue a four out of five. Um, I think it's really nice. I like it. Um, I, I do want to wear it again. I do really like it. Would I want to go out and buy a full size bottle of it? Probably not. I just don't think it, you know, drew me in enough where I really wanted to go out and buy a full size bottle of it. I have the Versace Arrows for her and I really like that a lot. I, I like it a lot better than this. Even though this is really good, I just think that has a more nicer, fresher, you know, for me personally, everyday kind of scent. This is something I would pull out more for like a nighttime activity. And if I'm gonna do that, then I have other fragrances that I would pull out for those kind of occasions, things that I prefer to wear more for like a nighttime activity. Um, so that is why I gave it a four out of five, but it is a really good one and I really do like the scent. And if you're someone that likes kind of a little bit of a musky, slightly masculine, but still very feminine because it has some florals, you would probably really like this scent as well. So. That is my review of the Versace Pore Femme. If you would like to, definitely try out Scentbird um, and you know try to get it through there. That way you can try it out before you actually go invest in, you know, buy the full size bottle on a blind buy of it because it's good, but it ain't that good. Let me know what you guys think down below if you have this fragrance as well. Let me know what you think. I'm just curious and if you are a guy definitely feel free to comment down below as well. Do you like the smell of it? Uh, do you like the smell of it on your lady or is this something that you would purchase for your wife, girlfriend, mom? Let me know what you think down below. I will see you guys in my next video. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. And if you are interested in budget-friendly beauty and lifestyle, this is the place for you. Be sure to click the notification bell for more videos from me. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.